Well, hello, folks. Let's get right into this one. All right. Yeah, the Vols heated up, and they're going to force Game 3 in the Super Regional down in Hattiesburg, or Hattiesburg, or however you say it. <laughs> anyway, we didn't have a bunch of uh, lightning and stuff uh, today, and they finished out the first game, and we tried to make a game out of it, made it like 4-3, to three, wound up losing 5-3, to three, and then we got way down in the second game, 4 to nothing. and I'm sitting here going, holy crap, we're going to get beat for sure, and it's, the season's over. I even had all my smoky gray to match, just trying to do something to change up the luck. But uh, the guys got hot, all of a sudden scored a bunch of runs, six runs in one inning, and then another two on top of that. And they forced game three with an 8-4 to four victory, and you can see here the guys that did the damage. Blake Burke had that uh, big home run, the two-run homer that went, I don't know, 500 feet or some crazy number, 490. And uh, Merritt was huge. He was four for five, and he scored two runs. And that play where uh, the first baseman tried to uh, double up the uh, guy at home plate, and it wound up being an error, and we came home with two more runs, that was huge. That gave us that insurance policy and pushed us up to four which really makes it a lot easier on the pitchers to not have a, a ton of pressure on them. And Dolander played great after that one bad inning. He uh, pitched really well. And as you can see, he pitched eight innings total, and he had seven uh, strikeouts and had a real nice game. We brought in Burns at the end uh, to finish him off. Uh, I was surprised Dolander started the ninth, but I, I can see what uh, Tony V was thinking. He thought, you know what, I'm going to let Dolander go until he can and as soon as he doesn't get somebody else, especially walking a guy, you can tell when somebody's starting to lose their stuff. And that happens, and you get in the seventh, eighth, ninth inning with starters. That's why they normally don't go a complete game. So uh, bringing in a, a reliever, as soon as he saw you know, he's starting to lose it, it was a good idea, and I was behind that 100%. I was like, man, he, we cannot have him walk a second guy and then put all the pressure on our closer. And our closer got in trouble for a second, and that was Burns, and he was 3-1. and one. Three balls and a strike, and I'm going, man, do not walk this guy. He's not going to swing. So he throws a strike and then throws another strike, which was actually high. The guy shouldn't have swung at it, and they'd have been first and second, but it was right in front of his eyes. Those high fastballs are right there. You want to hit them. Although, my personally, there's no way I could hit that ball. Coming in there 100 miles an hour, that would just it would, it would just be a blur. But anyway, a great win. So now we go into game three tomorrow. It's to be announced is my understanding. I just checked Twitter. Yeah, Southern Miss is saying to be announced. And here's Go Vols 247. Tennessee beats Southern Miss. And, um, yeah, it looks like everybody's saying to be announced. A great victory for the Vols. I'm fired up about it. Uh, I watched this entire second game, and uh, it was tough. I had to turn it off for a minute, and I'm working on actually another video for tomorrow. So I had to take a little break, and I came back, and all of a sudden they were starting to score, and I was like, man. Uh, sometimes you got to walk away because you're putting out bad, uh, bad vibes on them. <laughs> you ever feel like that? You ever feel like, man, I, if I don't watch, they do better? I've had that happen a lot, with uh, ba especially baseball, because it's such a fickle sport. It's not like football where, you know, the better team usually wins. In baseball, man, it can be anybody. So, anyway, it's definitely the most fickle sport there is, even way more than basketball. So, anyway, we'll be watching closely, and uh, hopefully it's a game in the evening that it's not like some early afternoon. But, you know, we'll see. If it's in the evening, everybody gets to watch it. But it might not be. It'll probably be at 12 or something. But anyway, um, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. I know you're going to hit the like button. We won. <laughs> and we forced game three. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, it's right here on the right. Just hit that little button. It's all you got to do. It's super easy. And right over here is my most recent video. And this is actually a pretty cool video. This is the toughest vol ever. And I had fun making this video, and I spent quite a bit of time on it. So uh, be sure to check that out. It's a good one. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.